Hey everyone, Dana Leslie back for another Disney dining review. We are going back to Epcot. And we're actually going to Garden Grill this morning for breakfast. So we've done Garden Grill in the past for the previous dining reviews uh, for lunch, but this time we're doing breakfast. I'm actually really excited because when we used to come to Disney World for weeks at a time when we lived in Oklahoma, we would always do Garden Grill for breakfast. We never actually ever wanted to do the lunch offering, so I'm excited to get back to it because when we did it for lunch for the first dining review, they didn't offer breakfast. That's true, yeah. So there was a long period of time where the breakfast had not come back. And so now that it's finally back, we haven't had a chance to try it since it has returned. So I'm very much looking forward to it. There's one little piece that was the, the quintessential, <laughs> wonderful part of breakfast at Garden Grill. And I don't know if they still do it. Well, we'll find out. If you don't know what Garden Grill is, <laughs> it is a character dining experience inside of Epcot. Um, it is a rotating restaurant. It does not rotate fast. You get through one, maybe a little bit past one full rotation. Um, you can sit in an upper level, you can sit in a lower level. We like the lower level because of the booths, however, Sometimes with only two people, they do sit you at the tables in the upper level. So we'll, we'll see where we get set. Um, but they bring, uh, so it's all you care to enjoy. They bring it family style to the table, which mm -hmm. I like. So you don't have to get up and go to a buffet. The characters that you get to meet are actually themed characters. So it's Mickey, Pluto, Chip and Dale, which is fun, yeah. but they're all themed to like the farm. This is in the land pavilion in Epcot. And so it's all very much like farm to table. They have a greenhouse there that supplies uh, some of like the greens and stuff with for, for the restaurant so um it's really fun to meet like yeah. farmer mickey and 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 those characters ah, i can't wait i love chippendale on on meet and greets they are just so cute and just kind of ornery for adults it is 47 dollars for breakfast and for kids it's 30 and that's of course plus tax and gratuity for both of those and then uh the the family style uh uh, goodies that they bring you include like Mickey waffles. You can get a plant-based uh, thing to your table. So you can get like plant-based waffles and plant-based uh, sausage and whatnot. Um, but then the non-plant-based has scrambled eggs, bacon, I think some like steak, some potatoes, uh, the waffles, of course. So They used to have a sticky bun. Is that what you were talking about with the best part? The sticky bun and the... Um, Oh, there was like a hazelnut, hazelnut. drizzle yes. that for the Mickey waffles that you couldn't, well, we've never seen it anywhere else. Maybe they have it by now, but this was years ago. But yeah, like those were fantastic. Let's see if they have it because those were like the two like yeah. standouts for this meal. And I feel like the fact that it's not the most expensive character meal on property, it's actually pretty reasonable for a character meal for an all you care to enjoy and they bring it to the table. There's a lot to love about this restaurant. Yeah, there is. So let's see if it lives up to the hype from before. All right, let's do this. Always, always, always request the lower level when you come to Garden Grill. They are these really high booths that are fantastic, and you can look out onto the rotating restaurant, which does not go super fast. We got our first course for breakfast. It also feels a little more private and secluded. It's just nice. So um, they don't have the sticky buns anymore, but what does she call this? Cinnamon, cinnamon something bread. So I'll find out for sure. And then a little plate of uh, watermelon as well. So I'm, I'm gonna just. It's pretty lovely. Dale is here. Hi, Dale. How are you? Nice to meet you. I love meeting 
meeting characters. I'm such a nerd. They have lots of fun drinks included with breakfast. We prefer the Pog juice, which is passion orange guava juice. This is a great one. Um, they do have this at several buffets. Um, it's so, so good. I think we fell in love with it at Boma uh, yeah. for breakfast over there, but they've got it here. They've got it, they've got it all over the place, but if they have Pog juice on the menu, highly suggest that. But you can also get chocolate milk, uh, apple juice, uh, regular milk, coffee, which we got coffee as well. So we got two beverages. Anyway, let's dive in. Okay. It has arrived. Our little platter came. Um, it has the steak with the ranchero um, sauce, scrambled eggs, the waffles, bacon, and a cheesy potato casserole. The cinnamon, whatever bread stuff that they brought is not as good as the sticky buns. Um, it's weird inside. Like I liked the flavor on the crispy bits outside because that's where it was really flavorful, but I didn't like the inside part of it. Um, and there's none of the hazelnut spread, so I'm a little sad about that too. But it's okay. We're gonna try the rest of this. Hi, Chip. How are you? Are you hungry? <laughs> You're always Thinking about hungry, it. aren't you? So handsome. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, can I get a picture of you doing that? <laughs> How's it going, Mickey? Great. How are you? Thank you. All in all, a good meal. I do love at the end of it, they give you a little signature card. So on the front is a Mickey, Chip, and Dale and Pluto. And then on the back, you have their signatures. This is so cute. really honestly to alleviate the uh, the characters having to sign everything when you come here. Um, but it is a, con a fun little keepsake. They gave us two of them, one for each of us. Overall, food was good, um, but we are gonna get into all the discussions at home. All right, we are back. Boy, oh boy, the spring break crowds and Easter crowds are here. <laughs> this coming weekend is Easter weekend, and just a tip, if you are wanting to come to Disney World and you do not let crowds, do not come immediately before or immediately after Easter weekend. It is crazy. Yeah, yes, insane. Anyway, before we get into the dining review, if you are looking to plan your next magical vacation, we uh, plan Disney destinations, Universal Cruise Lines, and all-inclusive resorts at Fantastical Vacations, and we would love to help. This one has lost a little bit of luster for me. Uh, this is, I will still recommend Garden Grill, and we'll get to that at the end, but it is not as good as it used to be for breakfast. Um, they are two very noticeable deletions, really. I mean, like, cause like, yeah. uh, anyway. We'll get to that in the food. So, shall we just jump right in? Okay, so we went back and we looked at our ambiance and theming ratings from whenever we went there for the lunch dinner time-ish period. Um, just to kind of see, one, we wanted to see what we had rated it before, and we wanted to see, because we have done several reviews since, um, how it held up and how maybe our opinions have changed and how we rate these over, over time. Yeah, so we did separate them into ambiance and theming because uh, Garden Grill is not the place you want to get a craft cocktail. <laughs> it's just not like you can get alcohol um, for breakfast if you want. They had a Bloody Mary. They had a mimosa, I think, but it is not any there's nothing special about them at all. And they're overpriced. So we did not. I would not recommend it to anyone. I wouldn't do that to you. Um, <laughs> so we're not rating drinks here. That being said, I did mention it in the restaurant. The drinks that are included with the meal are um, actually pretty, pretty plentiful and Pog juice is fantastic, so definitely get that. Ambiance, we actually kept steady from the first time we reviewed this for uh, lunch and dinner to breakfast. The ambiance um, is the same as it was. It is, um, it is still pretty tired in there, like it does need an update, but the the actual feel and the vibe of the restaurant holds true. Definitely, 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 if you uh, go to Garden Grill, request a lower level seating. These are all booths, uh, circular booths, so yes. it's like, I don't know, 60% of a circle, four people can fit in there comfortably. Um, up on the second level, they're, they're tables, and it's not nearly as good of an obby. I would say it's probably rated a three on the second level, but we rated it a four on yes. the bottom level because it's really nice being in that booth. The characters come to you. It's The noise is kind of insulated. You don't see a ton of people. You see, I mean, there are people walking by because yeah. you have to to get to your booths on the lower level if you go to the restroom or whatever, but you see the scenery change because it is a slowly rotating restaurant. I 100% agree with that. I love the the high-backed booth. You kind of feel secluded. It's private. So anyway, all that to say, we rated ambiance a four. Theming. Um, this one actually went down for us. We rated it a four the last time, and we, we went with a three and a half this time just because without characters, 
And without the visual of the rotating restaurant, it's probably sub three. It's not good. There's no theming at all. So basically you slap some overalls on Mickey Mouse and that becomes the theme of the restaurant. So it is like farm to table themed. You've got Living with the Land, which is a ride that goes, a boat ride that goes to the greenhouses downstairs. Um, the whole, it's in the land pavilion. So it's very much like, um, you know, sustainability and growing, you know, vegetables and plants and all of that. So that carries into the restaurant a little bit just because of what you can see with the rotating restaurant and the overalls on Mickey Mouse, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, we like Dan said, we kind of knocked that one down just a little bit. It just didn't, um, as we were paying more attention to the overall theming of the restaurant, it didn't feel like it met the quality of a four necessarily. So we went with a three and a half service. Our server was wonderful. She was just simply lovely. We, we really had a nice time visiting with her. Um, it, it's, you know, they they get to bring you the kind of the platters. They check on you to see if you want to add anything, if you want more of anything. We got a little bit more of the potatoes because those were really good coming up. Um, <laughs> and so anyway, she just, she was Johnny on the spot. She was uh, efficient and just overall lovely to deal with. We gave her a four. Let's talk about food real quick. Um, food has, for breakfast, has gone down in both quality and uh, selection, in our opinion. So years ago, pre-COVID, when we came for breakfast, um, they start you off with a pull-apart cinnamon mm. roll sticky bun thing, and then um, a bowl of like assorted fruit. Now you get a little plate of um, uh, watermelon slices, which are fine, they're, they're okay. Yeah. And then um, you still get a pastry, but it is more like a coffee cake. Um, it is not flavorful, it was overcooked, it was a little bit dry inside, it was not good at all. We took one bite and then, like the first bite you took, you liked, but then. Yeah, well the crispy outer parts is where all the flavor was. And so I thought whenever I took it, I was like, oh, that's a nice flavor, that's a little crispy. And then, so I was excited to get in the inside part of it. But once you got in the inside part of it, it was just bland and kind of, <laughs> it was weird because it almost felt undercooked inside, but overcooked outside, it was bizarre. Then they bring you a skillet and that skillet has it's fam served family style. They'll bring you as much as you want. So you can just keep asking them for more full skillets or you can ask for like a couple of one or two or more components of the skillet. So if you like one or a couple of things, you can just get that brought out separately, uh, which I do like. Mm -hmm. uh, but inside the skillet was Mickey waffles, scrambled eggs, bacon, a it just said a steak that had ranchero sauce, but it, it was like a skirt steak consistency, mm -hmm. um, but, a, but a little bit thicker skirt steak, and then um, the cheesy potatoes. Mm, mm. So the- Those were the hit. The star of the show was the cheesy potatoes. It is not a traditional hash brown. They're like bigger shoestring, but it is more like shoestring potatoes. So like hash brown style, mm -hmm. um, just a little bit different than you'd think in like a diner, but it, with this like creamy cheesy sauce, those were really, really good. Really, really good. The bacon was really crispy, very tasty. Nothing wrong with the eggs, just plain eggs like you'd find anywhere at Disney World. Mickey waffles, again, plain Mickey waffles. Ours weren't super hot when they came out. The steak was actually really steak good. steak was actually really good. Here's where the downfall is is that what they used to do is bring you this little tiny thing of like a hazelnut drizzle that you could put on the Mickey waffles. And that combined with the sticky buns just kind of elevated the entire experience and really made Garden Grill probably one of our favorite breakfast locations on property because you had kind of that different touch to the breakfast. And they don't do that anymore. And so really, between those two things, it was kind of a disappointment. We rated food a three and a half just mm -hmm. because it was, I think probably well the done. cheesy potatoes and the steak elevated a little bit higher than average. However, um, that disappointing coffee cake thing um, was definitely subpar. And then there was nothing super special about like the eggs and the Mickey waffles yeah. anyway. So if you add all that up and divide it out, that is a 3.75 out of five, which I think is still a solid score for Garden Grill. Um, it's just, I bring back the hazelnut drizzle. I will continue to recommend this restaurant yeah. for a few reasons. And this gets into like the one major draw about this restaurant, um, which we've never really done for table service restaurants before, but I think it's important to point 
and out. It is the combination of the food that is all you care to enjoy being brought to your table mm -hmm. so you don't have to get up. There really isn't a great way to get up because you're walking in the main pathway where the characters come if you get up. It is the, also the combination of the price and then the characters that you get to meet because it's not every day that you get to meet Farmer Mickey, which is kind of cool, yeah. Pluto, and then especially Chip and Dale. Side note, if you don't know which one is which, Chip is the one whose nose is black like a chocolate chip. Yes. And I mean, we got to see them. They came around to our table like three times while we were there and we were only there for 45 minutes. Yeah. It's super quick. This is definitely a people factory. They're pushing you in and getting you out as soon as possible, which for me in a theme park is actually preferable unless I'm there for like a nice sit down dining experience. But if I'm doing a character meal with all you care to enjoy, like I want to get out of there quickly, right? Yeah. And then also there's not a, there's not as much selection as like a buffet with yeah. even Chef Mickey's, but especially with like Tusker House or some of the other character meals that are actually buffets. Boma, especially not a character meal, but a huge selection for buffet because they're bringing get a family side of the table. So that's probably why it is cheaper, but I like the experience combined with the price and the characters. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, I definitely think it's still a solid option to consider whenever you're planning your dining destinations, um, coming to Disney world, but just, you know, if you came pre COVID and you loved those sticky buns and that hazelnut drizzle as much as we did, then just know they're not. You're going to be disappointed. All right. If you are liking these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And we will see you on the next video.